Everybody, Kev here, and welcome to another episode of Kev Inspires TV. Thanks so much for coming along again today. And boy, am I pumped up today. I am really, really pumped. Got a lot of questions about procrastination. You know, how can I stop procrastinating? I'm you know, not getting things done. And let me tell you, you're looking at one of the biggest procrastinators ever. In fact, I was once the biggest procrastinator in the world. <laughs> can you believe that? I was, true. Let's get to it straight away. You know, I hate to-do lists. I really hate having to-do lists. They drive me crazy. You know, to-do lists, they overwhelm me. It's just too much. You know, I've got to do this, then do that, then do this, then go and do that, and then come back to this. Oh, too much, too much. That makes me procrastinate because I think, oh, it's just, it's just too much in the head. So I just have two lists that I live by, just two. One's a weekly list and one is a today list. Now, here's a copy of my weekly list. And if you notice, I just focus on just the one thing a day. That's all. You know, the major thing that I need to do for that day. But this remains the same every week, every single week, unless I need to make amendments to it or something changes or whatever and I finish a project, that kind of thing, then I'll change it. But it stays the same basically every week, so I know exactly what I'm doing for the coming week, every week. So you can see Monday, I'll focus on one thing, same for Tuesday, just the one theme for the whole day. And weekends, I like to spend having a rest, you know, spending time with joy, doing stuff together, going to the movies, you know, going hiking, um, discovering new places, you know, going for a jog, exercising. We love to make going for a swim, going down the beach, beautiful. You know, it's simple and it doesn't overwhelm me. Okay, that's my weekly list. That's it. There's not ten thousand things to do. Now my today list is even simpler, believe it or not. And here it is, here's my today list. Now Today's Tuesday. So you notice I've got two things that are important but not urgent just on the little side bit there. So my main focus on Tuesdays is writing scripts and filming Kevin Spice TV, as you can see. But there are always two things that must be done every day. They're important but they're not urgent. And I get them out of the way nice and early so I can then focus on the writing and the recording of these videos. And I find that if I do two things that are important and not urgent every day, I never get to a stage where things become urgent. Now, I learnt that from the late, great Stephen Covey in his book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, which is a fantastic book. So stop the overwhelm. Focus on one thing a day or one project. I realise a lot of you might work nine to five jobs, that kind of thing. You can still use this list. You know, you, Obviously you want to improve your life, you want to do things, you've got goals, you've got visions. So just focus on one thing every day with two little really important things that you have to do each day so nothing becomes urgent then. I mean, you know what you're doing, you know where you're going and when we know where we're going it becomes so much easier and the universe opens up for us. We know what we're doing, it's so much easier. And for this little stuff, for this stuff that I use, I use a little app called Evernote on my computer for my lists. It's a great little app, it's free. Uh, you can put all your notes on there, you can even put pictures. Uh, I've got my vision board on this little uh, Evernote app, which is really, really good and it's free, like I say, Evernote. So stop procrastinating. Start making simple weekly lists and a simple today list and be passionate about it. And you've got to start inspiring other people now. I'm putting it back on you now. You know, you've, you're learning stuff, you want to improve your life, start inspiring other people with what you do with your left, with your with your left, with your zest for life and your lack of procrastination. Really start doing that. Please leave a comment below. Love to hear from you as you know. Look for the inspiration and passion. You've got to start living with that. Living with the inspiration and being passionate about your life. And you'll inspire other people. You really will. Get out there and do it. Stop procrastinating and I'll see you next week. Have a great week.